What's going on, everybody? Where am I? What is this strange place? Oh, suddenly I'm, I'm feeling so much better now. Uh, I was, I was totally sick that whole time, and definitely not, definitely didn't sneak away to uh, any sort of event or anything like that. <laughs> What's up, people? Um, it's good to be back. I, I don't even know what I want to do tonight. Uh, probably just BS around a bit. Say what's up to everybody. Uh, mess around in the game. I don't even know what to do in the game at the moment. We'll kind of figure it out. <laughs> Hi, BG. It's BG2. Pete, BG2? Well, I feel like you're BG3, but you can't take away... Can't take away the uh, the fantastic work that my pal Christian did. Uh, <laughs> you are uh, BG three, my friend, <laughs> but still, still in the in the in the top, dude. You're in the top three BGs, you know, top five BGs. <laughs> uh, Pete, what a what a wild ride, huh? What a time! Oh my goodness! Whew! What a what a strange. Weekend it was, everybody. What a very strange weekend it was. Uh, wait, what time is it? It's basically on time. You know, I'm basically on time tonight. Look at that. Crazy, huh? Y y who would have thunk it? Who would have been... Who would have thunk it? It's been days, I know. It has been a while. I'm so sorry that I uh, had to leave you guys for a little bit. Uh, it had to be done. Had to be done. All right, let me hold, hold up, hold up. Hold on. <laughs> The slap goes to Will. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Slap goes to Will Jones, dude. There was so many people that sent over a buck, uh, but the slap goes to Will. Thank you all, though. Will saying, "Yo, how was Vancouver?" Said I missed it this year. Maybe next year, dude. It was a time, man. It was a, it was a great time. Um, honestly, really enjoyed it. Uh, you had so many heads during the, uh, did the Battle Realm Brawl play at Yuki? So many. Uh, and I didn't have enough at the same time. I wanted to have six, and then we realized too late that it would be nice to have 106. Um, we had some plans, but we, was, dude, just never enough time to pull off what you really want to do, you know? But, uh, it was still a great time. Um, still a fantastic time. Dude, even outside of the shenanigans that I'm kind of hinting at here, uh, with the whole... Oh, with this whole thing right here, you know? Uh, even without this whole thing... Uh, which, oh, hold on, hold on a second. Let me go big head mode here for a sec, you guys. Mm -mm. I see this, I'll read the, um, the super chats and stuff like that in just a sec. Um, but before I do that, there was, uh, I got so many people to sign my head. It's great, man. Look at that, man. Did we got lags right, right under my freaking eyeball, dude. Oh my. Look at this thing. Holy crap. So many. So, so many. Um, it's so cool, man. So fun. Looks just like you. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice face tattoos. Thank you. All right. Well, let me pop this thing down real quick. Dude, what? Oh, man. I don't even know where to begin, you guys. It's just a fun time. Um, all right, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me catch up on some of these uh, near miss slaps right here, though, because there were there were quite a few of you, dude. James, thank you for the buck as well. No slap, dude. I can't believe it was a single slap, and there were this many super chats. Uh, Andrew, thank you for the buck as well, saying, but were you sick? So there were two streams. Hold on a sec. There were there were two streams that I did. Um, actually, I was gonna pull them up, but I don't really need to. There are two streams that I did. One, I faked it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One, one stream. I I said I threw up. I didn't actually throw up. 
I was just sitting there kind of waiting, you know, and then uh, a couple minutes later, just came back and was, I can't, I can't act at all, dude. I, I'm really, oh my God. I'm sure some people were like, mm, really? Uh, but I tried my best. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, I, I only lie when I know I'm going to tell the truth immediately after or like a few days after or whatever, right? Um, <laughs> so I knew I was going to tell you guys like, yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't actually sick. <laughs> um, so no, I wasn't actually sick. However, here's the thing. I didn't lie about being sick to go to the meetup. Uh, well, I mean, I, I did and I didn't. Okay. I did and I didn't. Because what I actually needed to do was buy time to uh, continue manufacturing my heads uh, with my buds. And I was like, dude, I need like the whole next day and everything. Because uh, it would like be t way too obvious. You know, if I was just like, oh, I'm sick and now I'm suddenly... Uh, coinciding exactly 100% with the event, you know, gonna do that. So, um, uh, I, I kind of, kind of, kind of bended the truth there a little bit, uh, to take the whole next day, uh, to, to work on these heads, which still wasn't enough time. Like, dude, it was just round the clock making these things, which I had already started way in advance, but, um, just like the finishing touches and all that. Um, and then, so like the 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 so I there was like I streamed, didn't stream the next day, and then streamed again, but it was a shorter stream. That stream, dude, I was not faking it at all. Where I was like passing out, man. I was like talking. I was like mid sentence, and I'm just like, S -s 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 -a kingpin. What? What was I saying? You know, <laughs> just just like, uh, dude. I was just so completely spent at that point at that point i was already awake for i don't know man like 36 hours or whatever it was i can't even remember at this point but uh that was not fake at all uh that was completely real and then i took like a 45 minute nap or something like that and then went right back to it uh like as soon as the stream ended so um that 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 part was legit but uh the the, the throwing up part no no that was that was faking it uh <laughs> oh man by the way, I never said I wasn't going. I never said I wasn't going. I only said that I wished I could go. And you know what? Eh, sometimes your wishes come true. Uh, you know? Uh, I said I wish I could go. There were times where I said I didn't know if I was going. And that was true. Uh, I was not lying there. There was a very high possibility that I could not make it. Uh, it was not planned from the beginning to to do all this um because there there's just there's other things going on that can't get into at the moment but yeah there was a, there's a very strong possibility that i just wasn't going to be able to go at all no lie nothing like that so yeah um taco monster thank you for the buck as well as aim welcome back liar but good to have you back for real oh taco monster thank you dude <laughs> sorry about the lies <laughs> Yuki with them three Polish bucks and you had so many heads during oh yeah, yeah I already read yours Yuki yeah man uh oh you said what can you say about ne Necropolis not much um not much I, I don't know much so first off no one knew about it ahead of time or anything like that um because I know like sometimes you guys know we you know we get advanced info or whatever. We had no idea. None of us had any idea outside of, I guess, well, kabam. And um, I showed up late to the event. Um, first off, I didn't go to day one of the Battle Realm Brawl. Um, I didn't go to day one of the Battle Realm Brawl because it didn't feel like the right time. So we, we really didn't have like a... a an idea of what the event was going to be like, you know? I love the event. Would have loved to know a little bit more ahead of time what it was going to be like. But at least now we'll have an idea for, you know, next year or something. Um, but yeah, Battle Realm Brawl. I didn't go because it felt like a it was going to be like a seated event. And I didn't want to sit there blocking someone's view with my massive head or something like that. That just, it wasn't the right time, you know? So I had to skip that, unfortunately. And uh, then at the... Like the player summit, which was at like a Kabam uh, headquarters, um, really awesome space and everything. And uh, 
I guess I got there a little bit late. It was maybe like the first thing they announced or something. So I got there a little bit late, maybe 15 minutes late. Actually, dude, I got stopped by security and like <laughs> we had to go through everything. They were like trying to, you know, t make me take my, my head off so they could see who was under there and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I was dealing with security for a little bit. Maybe that was part of the uh, part of why I, I missed the announcement. But I was there for maybe like the, the, the second half of them just kind of like doing some announcements and stuff. So I had no idea about Necropolis. And then at the very end, they were like, eh, yeah, by the way, we have all these stations set up where you can play everything. You could try everything uh, over this way, you know, Necropolis. And I'm like, Necro what the heck? What's Necropolis? Yeah, so of course, like I found out it's like the follow-up to the Abyss, right? Um, I go like stand in line to, to, to like try it out. But I'm standing in line with my head on. You know, with with this thing on, that all I can see out of is is this <laughs> this spot right here. This is it, uh, which is not eye level. You know, it's like I, I look down, which actually works out all right for doing a fight, but I could only really see. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Wait, hold on. Oh no, never mind. Um, I could only really see. Uh, like the power, like a power level between myself and the opponent, and like the feet, and I was kind of judging based off of that, you know, so I could still like parry and stuff. But other than that, I actually know nothing about Necropolis, even though I technically uh, played a fight. It was I couldn't see anything, man. <laughs> I couldn't see anything at all. Um, so yeah, I know nothing about Necropolis. Um, other than it's it's coming apparently, and yeah. Now versus a bald man with a smile. Clarissa. Oh, Clarissa. Why? Why, oh, why? Why, oh, why, oh, why would you say these things? Uh, Will Jones, thank you for the two. Saying tweet, tweet, whenever you get a chance. Will, let me see where you're at. Actually, hold on. Before before I read your tweet, I just want to go uh, start like a, an auto fight or something like that. Mm, what am I doing? Uh, daily quests. That's what I'm doing. Um... I kind of want to start farming some some revives for whatever, man. Uh, decent decent chunk of stuff that needs to be done. Uh, 8.3 came out, right? Not sure how many revives I'm going to need for that. Probably not a ton, if I had to guess. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to have some just kind of kind of ready to go. That's that'll probably be the first thing I do uh, getting back into it, uh, and then. Yeah, still like eternity of pain and stuff like that to do too. So, um, all right, let me see here though. Will, thank you again. What do we got here? Uh, yo, how you doing? I finished 8.3 100% on Friday. Look at that. Yeah, already done with it on Friday and got some goodies. My two seven stars were your two favorite seven stars. Oh my goodness, Venom the Duck and my boy Rocket. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, 7-star rocket, Venom the Duck. Took my Shuri to rank 2 and got a Mutant Gem, which was uh, the one class I did not want. Rip. Uh, so I took, took up Weapon X and got a new rank 4 Silk. I understand, man. I'm not really that into the, the Mutant class uh, in a big way at the moment either. But, dude, grats on the Shuri rank up. Uh, and Weapon X, I mean, that is a cool rank up still, man. A rank 5 Weapon Flex right here. Well, nice, dude. Uh, very nice. That's Silk, too. Apparently, uh, I, well, I don't want to spoil anything. I, I, I don't know what's, what's public, what's not public, but, uh, a certain someone is doing a certain something with Silk. Um, maybe it's already done, maybe it's not already done, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Silk, awesome. Uh, Blackbeard, thank you for the five. Saying, do you have any advice on how I can get to Thronebreaker? I'm at 6.3.5 right now. Um, Blackbeard. I would say the best advice I have is just to take things one quest at a time. Uh, you're well on your way. You're not that far off. And it might still feel like there's a lot to do because you got like a, a, a whole you know, chapter and a couple quests to go. Not even on the uh, the final chapter of it, but, nah, man, just kind of keep plugging away. Um, I'd say, you know, take your time when it comes to uh, refilling your stash. Do what I'm doing right now. Auto fight through the apothecary. Um, get the uh, the revive from the 22 hours uh, solo events. And just kind of, you know, let your, um, let your stash uh, build up. 
Uh, and yeah, uh, and then just take things one quest at a time. A lot of people have credited MCOC Noob with guides on uh, story content, so I would take a look at that channel. Um, guides for, you know, like story content, they're never going to be 100% up to date uh, video guides at least because, uh, you know, as new champs come out, like of course, um, oh, here we go. I actually, I'm saying you mean Finn taking Silk to rank three? Yes. Yeah, ain't a secret. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. So, uh, that is what I was talking about though. Yes, Finn taking Silk to rank three. Um, I've been out of the loop of the, uh, the YouTubes or, or all that stuff pretty much. Um, but I remember, you know, hearing him say that's what he's going to go with. Okay, so anyway, going back to the Thronebreaker thing. Um, yeah, I'm COC noob. Take things one step at a time. What else? What else? The biggest hurdle, of course, is the Grand Master fight. And I'd really recommend taking a look at several guides um, when it comes to that. I have a guide that I think is pretty decent. I bet this is pre-recorded. Haley, how dare you think that? Um, <laughs> um, I have a guide that I think is pretty decent for the Grand Master. Maybe I'm a little biased. I don't think, maybe, you know, there, but there's, there's, you know, watch my guide, watch a few other guides because um, it's such a complicated fight that it'll be good to, to kind of hear it reiterated. You know, even if you think you remember a, uh, a, a part of the fight, I just watched a couple guides on it. Um, and do I have anything else? Uh, the, I guess the last, the one last thing I'll say is, there's no rush. Um, you don't need to feel any sort of pressure to get Thronebreaker. Yes, it's a great goal to have in this game, but if it takes you another year to get Thronebreaker, so what? Um, you know, kind of, kind of just go at your own pace, do what's comfortable to to you. But at the same time, you know, push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone. And, uh, you know, and try out the quests. And if you're really, like, still struggling, that's okay. You know, you can come back to it later. You can come back to it when you have uh, another couple champs ranked up. Um, that kind of thing. Um, and, yeah, I think that's all the, the, the kind of general tips that I have. Um, that kind of goes for most story progression pushes, uh, not just Thronebreaker. So, if anyone, uh, you know, leading up to the, the collector, you can kind of take exactly what I just said. Use that to get uncollected and... So on. So. BG, did you spin the wheel? No, I did not spin the wheel. So. I also have this still, which is just. Hold on a sec. It's just a, a, a kabam. Uh, you know, just like a like a paper entry bracelet sort of thing. Uh, I'm going to see how many showers it can last. Um, it's already made it through uh, through a few, as you can see. <laughs> um, this is this is all I have. This is it. This is everything that I have from the event. Uh, actually, that's not true. I do have a, a, a Cat Murdoch sticker. <laughs> um, that's like all I got. I went to the Battle Realm Brawl and all I got was this stupid t-shirt or something like that on the collector, I think. Uh, that's basically all I have. Um, I, 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 I wanted to spin the wheel. Uh, and I should have spun the wheel. But I didn't. I didn't because uh, I don't know, just too busy talking to people, man. Just way too busy talking to people. Uh, and then at the end of the event, they were supposed to like cut these off and give you like a little goodie bag. And uh, you know, we we left the event so late that they were they were kind of just like, guys, we we gotta get out. You know, we have like a like a hard set limit. Everyone was supposed to leave. You know, the, the limit was supposed to be 10 minutes ago. You know, we we're supposed to leave at, at like 9 o'clock or something like that. It's like 9.05 and we're still like like slowly getting, uh, you know, pushed out the door. Uh, they're like, come on, we got to go, <laughs> got to kill sort of thing. And uh, I was like, okay. And I and I kind of just, I, yeah, I mean, maybe I could have been like, oh, but please, I didn't I didn't get a bag or something like that. Maybe they would have done it, but I don't know, man. I just, I just walked out. I have so much stuff from going to these events over the years. Even though, like, it'd be a different shirt, it'd be a different hat than uh, than the stuff I have. It's okay, you know. Um, the wheel had some really cool stuff on it, and um, yeah, uh, should have spun that for sure. But uh, yeah, um, didn't. Um, 
Wait, Haley. Oh, with the six months as well. Saying totally pre-recorded. Look at that bald cap. Out of shape. Scoff. Are you scoffing at my bald cap? I gave it a quick polish before starting the stream. How dare you? <laughs> Put in a scrapbook. Are you talking about this? Oh, man. Uh, Alan, thank you for the two as well saying, so you did go to Vancouver, Alan. Maybe, maybe I did. <laughs> Alan, yes, yes, I did go. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I did indeed go. Um, I don't even have that much stuff to show you guys at the moment. When it comes to... This... When it comes to this guy right here and the other three, um, you'll eventually see something. But not for a while. Uh, it's a difficult video to make. And because it was such a scramble doing this stuff, um, and like, and, and like, I, it was, it, it's not even like on my things to like my my next list to do like my like a video I'm working on at the moment or anything, uh, so it's not going to be seen for a while. I'm talking like uh, uh, a few months or something like that even, uh, and then one day you'll you'll see and it'll just be like oh I remember that sort of thing, and that's that's how it's going to be. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you were interested in more of that, then, uh, yeah. BG, how did the cage fight with Seton go? Uh, I'll show you how it went. Uh, it went like this. Um, hold on, hold on. Where is that picture that I was... Oh, that's right, I retweeted it. Uh, it went like this. Um... <laughs> Dude, it looks like I'm wearing some sort of sparkly crown. <laughs> this is like a TV back here and like some lights that are strung up. But because the way it looks on my head, you can even see it like reflecting off of my head here. Uh, it looks like I'm wearing a damn crown. <laughs> this is this is how the uh, this is how the cage match went. Um, this is uh, Kabam Mike. If if those that uh, have not seen him before. Um, this was towards the end of the night, and we were all feeling, uh, pretty good. Uh, Bank Robber 2000, thank you for the two, say tweet, please. Let me see here, Bank Robber. Mm, what you got, what you got. Oh, hello, 8.3 exploration, rank up gem, damn, okay. Going with that Scarlet Witch, classic. Hell yeah, man. That's such a cool rank up. I feel like, um... Dude, I, I, I wish I, uh, I wish I had, a, like, a Scarlet Witch to play with during that one meta. With, like, the guaranteed crits on Intercept. Ah, oh, my goodness. Uh, some of those fights were just so insanely nutty. You're good to go. You're ready for next time. And, uh, I'm sure you're going to be using her before then, too. So, awesome rank up, man. Awesome. Yo, is that tipped? What up, dude? Tipped. Oh, man. Dude. I wish, uh, I wish we could hang more, man. Uh, I wish I, I wish I was able to get to that one spot that, uh, that first night, or I don't know what night that was for people, but, uh, <laughs> the, the first night for me, at least. Oh, man. Well, what's up, dude? Uh, yo, B. McG said it over a bug. B. McG. Uh, Santa's good meeting you, BG. Likewise, and it was a highlight of my MCOC career to provide a beverage for you. Thanks for being you. Ah, dude, being McG. Thanks for being you, dude. Guys, I think there is a new. I hate to say it, but you're right now. You're already seeing. You see how much trash BMG McG just just talked. Right now, everyone's like, "What? Didn't he just say something nice? He did say something nice, but we're stirring up the new drama here. All right." <laughs> <laughs> what, we're, what we're doing is we're doing high we're gonna one day this is gonna be far in the distance okay <laughs> but one day uh it's gonna be me versus b mcg we're gonna storm the stage we're gonna play uh we're gonna play at a tournament and it's gonna be high stakes whoever loses loses either a b or a g in the name very high stakes right there man 
Um, <laughs> wow, new beef. The the, the newest. Oh, this is the latest beef. Call TMZ. Is there an MCOC TMZ? It's TMZ with 1% of the... 1% of the, uh, the the reach or whatever. Oh, man. I can't wait for that day. That day that we do that match. Basically a death match right there. Almost. Um, dude, B McG, though. No, man. It was it was great hanging, dude. Uh, yeah, man. Such good times, dude. Such good times. Uh, Jim! Jim said it over five. I imagine Jim saying, okay, BG, my daughter has taken over. She asked why your iPhone charger wasn't called Apple Juice. I didn't make her take a lap. I was just so proud. Wow. You know what? Do I actually boo a kid? I'm going to make an exception this time on account of I like Apple Juice. And I actually think that would be a good name for it. I'm making an exception. There's going to be no booze. There's going to be no laps. I'm a fan of apple juice. What can I say? A fan of the beverage. A fan of the name. That's it. <laughs> Jim. Dude, thank you very much. And uh, shout out to your daughter. Thank you, dude. Mm, yeah, it was cool to meet a few community folks. Good to make it out on day two. I had previous plans for an evening. I was wondering, dude, because, man... Um, day two, we had, we had a really cool spot. It was like, uh, in the basement of this one place. I don't remember the name of the place. Uh, but it was in the basement of this one place and we kind of just took over and we felt a little bit bad because like it was, um, let me go, let me go do some stuff here. We felt a little bit bad. I'm not even sure what I want to do. You know what? I'm going to hop in the arena for right now, but we'll probably play some battlegrounds in, in, uh, uh, in a couple minutes or something like that. But uh, anyway, we felt a, a little bit bad because there were like two birthday parties <laughs> with like tables reserved down there or something. And, uh, you know, they were, they were like good sized tables. It looks like they had, I don't know, maybe like 12 seats set up. Fable is, uh, I think that's what it's called. Was that the name of it? Um, but anyway, they, yeah, Pete, maybe. They each had like 12 um, seats set up or something like that. And, um,. They're like, oh, you know, how many people are, are, are going to be here? And we're like, at that point, there was maybe 10 of us there. And we're like, oh, yeah, I think a few more people are coming. Uh, before we knew it, there's like 50 of us there. Uh, maybe more. I don't know. <laughs> Especially as people like came and went throughout the night. And um, dude, that whole place was ours. <laughs> Uh, I, I I hope the uh, the birthday people still had a good time because it was like, you know, everyone was just having a good time. But uh, it was probably maybe a little bit louder than what was expected. And, uh, oh, man, dude, the uh, the bartender, I'm sure, was pretty happy, though, because <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like that guy made bank. It was like one guy and then I think another person joined. So it was like two. And uh, I'm sure they made bank off of us. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Jim with another two. Jim, thank you, dude. Sam, what are your initial thoughts on raids? So I didn't get a chance to play it. Um, but, so I'll, I still have some a couple of thoughts to share, but I didn't get a chance to play it. Um, I the the way raids were set up at the event, it was like because it was like a multiplayer sort of thing. You had to like sign up like as as a as a group. I mean, I don't think you had to actually have a group ahead of time, but you know, they were they were essentially taking people in groups of nine or something like that i guess and um they were kind of uh pulling them into like this different area where they had things set up and uh it's like this whole experience or something like that so i didn't i didn't participate in that i uh was mostly just chatting people up the entire night that's the reason i go to these events not to really like try anything new out uh or get any prizes or anything like that that stuff is really cool but it's like a, a bonus uh, as far as i'm concerned um, so I didn't play it. I did see a little bit, though. I did see the announcement for it. Um, unlike Necropolis, I was there when they announced it and were kind of showing it off. Uh, and yeah, like Karate Mike made a, uh, a video for it, uh, kind of kind of talking about how it's broken down. I don't know if that's on like the official channel anywhere or if that's... Uh, I think they might have played it during the um, live stream or something. Anyway... Uh, my thoughts about raids are 
it seems like it'll be a nice way to sort of change the pace of alliance quest um because my understanding is it's mostly just regularly alliance quest throughout like the month and then it's like every fourth week or, or something like that you do like a, a raid where it takes a little bit more coordination but it's like not just the the busy work sort of thing you're like actually working together to like you know take down a, a boss or something like that um that seems cool i think at the end of the day though it's just alliance quest still sort of um or still has even though it's very different from alliance quest i shouldn't say that it, even though it's different from alliance quest it's still like in that same that same vein i guess where you're working together towards something that is kind of I don't know. It, it, it almost feels like the inevitable. It, it feels like after your first few times doing it might be kind of a chore. Because the way it works in other games... I, I guess I've only raided uh, in like World of Warcraft or something. I, I haven't really... Um, I've dabbled in some other like MMOs and stuff. But I've never raided in them. Um, the way it works in uh, like WoW, for example, is... You know, you, you do the raid and you're like... Not only are you not guaranteed to win, but like you're more than likely going to lose unless you're the absolute best of the best in the world. Um, you're going to lose. Uh, even even like the world first races and stuff like that, they'll you know often go like more than one week, um, where like you know it resets every week or something like that. Uh, because like as you gear up in those games, like then you're able to. You know, become stronger and able to take down those fights. And then, after, uh, you know, some time doing that, um, where you kind of have the bosses on farm status and stuff like that, and things are getting a little bit boring, then they come out with, like, a, a, a new raid. You know, so it's it's kind of that, got that sort of cycle to it where, like, yeah, trial and error and, and failure and you finally succeed. Uh, and then some time and the new raid. With, with uh, MCOC raids, it feels like it's going to be... You're probably going to win. Because it feels really bad to lose in this game. Uh, when it comes to Alliance Quest, at least. Um, and... I get a feeling like it's going to be... Uh, if, if, it, if, it, if, it's, if it's the way I'm thinking, at least. Uh, I have a feeling it's, it's going to fairly quickly get into that sort of busy work feel to it. Um, but I, I don't know that for sure. Uh, I really don't know that for sure. This is... Keep in mind, like I said, I haven't played it. I haven't actually even, like, watched anyone play it. I've only seen, like, the, the official announcement, which is a work in progress. Um, and I'm already a player who's not very into Alliance Quest, um, as it is. So, we'll see. You know, I don't want to, um... I don't want to uh, just like dump on something that's a, that's a work in progress, but that is my initial thoughts right there. So, uh, looks very chore like to me. Does it, Red, Red Dog? Did you actually play it? Oh come on, freaking Annihilus! Get out of here! Get lost. As we just said, why he's been gone for a while? Yeah, I was at the uh, the Vancouver meetup. Um, that is why I've been gone. As far so the the meetup ended on 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 Sunday essentially, and uh, I got home fairly late Sunday, but I wasn't home home. Uh, I was staying at uh, at a friend's, and my I mean I was so just like completely gone from the from the weekend. I barely slept, and. Um, it was a great chat for a while. I got to run because I'm chasing down a bug right now. I wanted to drop in and say hi for a bit. All right, tipped. Sounds good, buddy. Take care. Um. But anyway, yeah, I was at, I was at a set of friends, and then I was so completely just spent from the event because, like, I barely slept during um, uh, too busy like working on stuff last minute, and uh, and then just you know staying out late but still waking up early. Um, so yeah, I barely to sleep. And then my voice was just completely shot. Um, that's kind of, you, you, you might, I, I don't know if it sounds a little bit off to you guys right now. It's, it's probably, I can, I can feel it being off a little bit, but I wonder like through, through a microphone, maybe, maybe it's just in my head. 
it feels sounds like maybe a little nasally uh slightly sort of throat scratchy anyway you also barely ate that's true i also barely ate anything um but i'm not actually sick at least i don't think i am hopefully it's not like some sort of delayed reaction sort of thing uh it was just that uh my voice just the constant talking non-stop I let, and if there was anyone else in the room, I didn't let them say a word. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, just talking throughout the day. Because it was like morning to night, you know? Uh, it was like, wake up. Let's meet up for breakfast. Let's go to the, you know, the tourney. Let's, uh, you know, find a place to go for lunch. Uh, let's go to the, the player meetup. And then let's party uh, until um you know three in the morning or something like that uh and then go to sleep wake up do it again so yeah 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 uh thought you weren't going to vancouver so i uh, maybe used a little bit of deception not gonna say i lied i did lie i did lie a little bit about getting uh about getting sick i didn't get sick uh <laughs> um but I didn't say I wasn't going. I just said I wasn't sure if I was going to go. And then I said, oh, I wished I could go. Uh, you know, when like Lags was like, dude, you haven't said one way or another if you're going uh, or not. And I was like, Lags, I wish I could, buddy. Like if you go back to the streams, you'll see exactly that. Anyone who has uh, chat messages <laughs> have uh, something a little bit, a little bit similar too. <laughs> Uh, I have to have four Brian's to monopolize all the combos, yeah. A lot of people got COVID. Dude, Pete, I heard about that. Pete, how are you feeling? Because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have any symptoms or anything like that right now. So I'm, I'm hoping that we somehow, somehow dodge that bullet right there. Um, but I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't, but I have like a respiratory infection. Oh, star. Dang, feel better. Hope you feel better soon. Lags said he's sick uh, too in today's video. Yeah, I heard Lags got sick. I didn't actually get to hang with Lags that much. You guys, dude, you guys know me and Lags. We're buds. But um, that's the thing about these events is like I talked to maybe 40 people more than I talked to Lags. Even though Lags one of my best buds. You know? Uh, it was just tough to... It's, it's, it's tough to talk to everybody, man. You know? So... I'm totally fine. Okay, Pete. That sounds pretty good because uh, Pete and I, Pete, like, Pete, so Pete and I drove uh, there and back together. So um, if Pete's good and I'm good, I mean, we're probably good. Uh, but who knows? I feel like we maybe need a, a couple more days before we're totally in the clear, I guess. I don't know. I don't exactly know how that works. Uh, Brian had the balls to say to me, I didn't lie to you about going since he said, I wish I could. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Brian, tell Chad how you've altered Mike and my relationship forever. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, you guys, I had four of these heads, okay? I had four of these freaking heads. All of them look pretty much exactly the same like this. Okay, this is the only one that is signed by as many people as I could get to sign my head. But all of them had like the same level of care and attention and work put into them. And the idea was to have uh, four of me running around. All right. And uh, we needed I, like I, I went there with a friend of mine and uh, which means that's two of us uh, and we needed two more. And uh, I got, you know, Pete in on the on the idea. So that's three. So I needed a fourth. And the fourth was like, oh, I don't know who should, who, should, who should we go with? And I was thinking like, dude, it would be hilarious if we got someone on the inside involved. Uh, like Kabam John involved. <laughs> um, by the way, shout out to Kabam Mike. Because I didn't tell Kabam Mike what I was going as, but I was like, um, I, dude, 
this is how you know I'm not lying. Well, I guess I would have to like show the DMs, which I'm not going to show. I don't want to do that. But even even um, Kabam Mike, I told him like I don't think I can go. You know, like I, I'm not sure, but I'm probably not going. And then uh, kind of last second, I was like <sighs> asking him these questions. Like, wait a minute, if I go, is it possible to kind of go in secret? And, uh, and not tell me, you know, and, and like, because I want to dress up as something, you know, I want to I want to kind of surprise people. Uh, and he was like, yeah, sure, uh, we could do that, you know. Um, and I I didn't tell him what I was dressing up as or anything like that. Uh, so when I got there, I got to see his reaction too of like, oh my God, really? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so I wanted a fourth and I was thinking like, yeah, we get Kabam John, John involved, right? So like I had Pete, I couldn't I couldn't reach out to Kabam John myself. So I had Pete reach out, and we got there late as hell. We got there at like 1 a.m. And I, I'm like, dude, can you reach out to, to Kabam John and be like, hey, can you just come back to the to like the hotel room? Um, but like it was way too late, and you know since he lives in the area, he wasn't like at the hotel or anything like that, you know. So. Um, it could, couldn't happen. Couldn't happen. I, I understood. Uh, and then I'm like, well, what? Who else? I know. I know who'd be good. I know who'd be really good. Let's get Karate Mike involved. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't like, dude. I've sent Karate Mike messages in the wee hours of the night and had him respond. So I know, like, all right, this guy's a night owl too. You know. <laughs> so like, there's a chance. There's there's a chance he's not awake, but there's a chance he's awake. Let's try. <laughs> and um, sure enough, Karate Mike, the karate man himself, he was awake still. Uh, but at this point, it was already, you know, maybe like 1.30 or something like that. And Pete's like, uh, dude, I haven't messaged. Um, I haven't sent, like he was showing me the history. It's like, I haven't sent Mike a message in like a year. <laughs> on, on line chat, at least. So like this message just out of the blue is now saying... Uh, Oh my god, dude, I can't believe I'm getting cornered by Korg like this. This message out of the blue is now like, um, uh, hey, what's up? You know, are you at this event? Oh, cool. Uh, anyway, I've got something I want to show you in my hotel room. <laughs> Can you please come to this room? By the way, just knock. And I, like, gave the room number. Uh, can you, can you just please knock, uh, when you get here? I just have something I want your opinion on. It sounds so bizarre, and, uh... This Korg, it, what a nuisance, dude. Get out of my face. Um, but yeah, anyway, you know, Mike, very appropriately, is just like, uh, you know, maybe not tonight. Um, I couldn't wait till tomorrow, you know. Uh, but I'm like, Pete, no, man, we got to get him tonight, <laughs> you know. So we're just sending these uh, increasingly bizarre messages uh, his way. And uh, in the end... In the end, Mike did not actually end up coming out. Uh, uh, and then during the event, so he still had no idea that, like, you know, I was even there, that Pete and I were working together. Uh, and in the at the event, I take the head off, and I finally show, like, dude, why didn't why weren't you coming back to the room? You know, and his face of like, oh my god, that's what you were talking about. Um. Because, yeah, he had no idea why we were trying to lure him back to a hotel room at 1 in the morning. Uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a situation. It was a very bizarre situation. This is the most annoying Korg of all time. Please get out of my face. Oh, my God. Let's just kill him right here. I'm not losing this fight. I'm determined now. There we go. Whew. Um... So, th actually, those messages, they were, like, spread out now over the course of two days uh, of just <laughs> of just pressuring Karate Mike to come back to the hotel room. It was, uh, it was interesting. Um, all right, name doesn't matter. With the 56 months, saying, what are your initial... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's about to read Jim's message again. Uh, just saying, hello and good night. Dude, name doesn't matter. Thank you very much for the 56 months. That's so many months. How is there that many months in existence even? I don't even know. Uh, dude, thank you so much, though. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. There's even more months. Kieran. Kieran, thank you for the 66 months. Saying today's a great day, and you finally received my love. Dude, Kieran, yes. 
I wanted to reach out and say thank you. Um, I haven't... So, I have... Kieran gave some gifts uh, through Pete that uh, I guess Pete's been holding on to for a while because it's been a while since uh, Pete and I got to hang. Um, so, I got your gift. I got the man thing. Um, I haven't given Laura uh, her gift yet. Just kind of distancing in case I am sick. Uh, I wanted to uh, stay distanced. So I'll give that to her in a few days as long as, uh, fingers crossed, I, I don't actually, uh, you know, get sick. Uh, but Kieran, oh man, thank you so much. Since 2020, oh my God, that's how long this has been going on since? Wow. Wow. Uh, well, Kieran, thank you so much. Uh, and dude, thank you for the 66 months. The 66 months, the man thing. Uh, man, thank you so much, dude. Uh, and yeah, it's not going to take three years to... To, to get the thing that you gave to Laura, uh, to Laura. Um, just a few days on that one. Do I even need to... Oh my god. Sherry, get out of here. Uh, Kira, thank you, though. Uh, Jim with the... T I mean, I can't believe that since 2020. My goodness. Um, Brian, you sign my head next time. I'll get a tattoo. Dooley! Dooley was the first person to sign my head, everybody. Uh, very, I very creepily pulled out a, um, a note in my pocket with a sharpie that said, please sign my head, and I handed it to Dooley. <laughs> As I was standing behind him in line. Uh, oh, man. Uh, Jim, dude, send it over another 10, though. Jim, thank you very much. Say it, ABG, tweet, tweet. Uh, wait, hold on a sec. Did I ever look at... It wasn't another tweet that I accidentally didn't look at, right? I don't think so. I think I looked at the last tweet that someone said. I think the last one was Bank Robber, and I think I looked at that, right? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, Jim. Uh, Alliance Campaigns idea. That's what the tweet is about. Uh, you don't have to go into it, but this is my Alliance Bases slash Incursions idea. Um, who put... Th Hold on a sec. Who set this up? Because I just fought Korg... And now I'm fighting Kindred. Like, what the heck? Okay, wasn't awakened, so thank goodness for that. But what a monster. Who did this? Who's the third defender? If it's Heimdall, it couldn't be Heimdall. Oh, it was Shuri. That's right. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, Lion Spaces slash Incursions idea. Uh, if you ever review it, I'm curious what you think. Okay, let me see here. Um, if it's long... Um, I usually don't take a look at stuff that's too long because it takes too much away from the stream, but let's see if we can kind of sift through it a little bit here. Uh, community tired of AW and AQ and waiting on raids. What about uh, alliance campaigns? Uh, Bummy this opening command might take this back as an idea. Let's see. Um, actually, might just be easier if I... Hold on. I know what I can do. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Alliance campaigns are a new mode, hopefully, of alliance play in Marvel Council Champions that replaces the current alliance war mode. Replaces. That might be a tough sell. Even though I am not personally a fan of alliance war, there are some hardcore alliance war fans out there. Let me see. Unlike alliance wars, which requires that team members join war, uh, place their defenders, and then attack, looking at uh, locking out eight total characters from play. Um, alliance campaigns allow your alliance to build a headquarters consisting of up to 10 rooms with 90 unique champions from your alliance. Damn. Uh, every month, uh, coinciding with the monthly event quest, your alliance will then be able to raid other alliances. The higher the difficulty and the more rooms your alliance uh, compete, completes gains points, uh, which go towards the final campaign total at the end of each month. Uh, monthly uh, campaign war chests are then awarded based on the tier your alliance finished in. Okay. Okay. Um, these details, I will have to look at another time, but I think I have the, the gist of the idea. Um, interesting. Interesting. I That might be really fun. It's hard. It's really hard to say with, with modes like this until you actually like get them in your hands and play them, right? Which is why I'm reserving judgment on um, like the raids that Kabam is making. The only thing that I'll say in, in general... Um, is that there's a I think there's a lot of people that really enjoy the like the more solo side of MCOC and it's fantastic that there are modes that bring us together because as anyone who did go to the meetup uh, can attest this game is all about the community 
you know? Um, so it's good to have modes that, 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 that bring people together. But the more complicated the, the modes get, the sometimes di more difficult it can be to sort of... Um, to keep people, you know, playing them um, over over the course of time, just because you know everything else going on in life. So maybe this would be amazing and super fun and ama and just uh, the best alliance-based mode of all time. Um, or maybe it would end up being something that would be super fun, but hard for players to to fit into their lives. And I don't know which 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 it would actually be. Like I said, we'd actually need to play test it. It'd be so fun if we could play test ideas without actually taking a, a bazillion hours of work. <laughs> you know, because like I've had so many ideas that I'm like, man, I don't know if this would be fun, but thinking about it's fun at least. Uh, too bad we'll never get a chance to play it because um, even if we did have the time, like we don't have the resources as players, right? Um, in other games that I've played in the past, in, in, in the past, like Warcraft 3, players got to make their own custom games. And, dude, I mean, that's where Dota came from. That's where uh, so many tower defense games were born. Um, I feel like that genre really grew from uh, Warcraft 3, probably StarCraft before it. Um, and, yeah, it'd be sweet if we could make some, like, custom games like that. Um... But it's a cool idea and a really solid looking, uh, like just formatted, like super clean format to it all. I'll have to take a look at uh, the full thing in the future. Um, Jim, dude, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for the 10. Yo, sup, BG. Yo, Cap Bay. What's going on, dude? Uh, Oxygen, thank you for the 5 CHF saying, sup, BG. So happy to see you back. Uh, I can only realize how much I miss your streams when you were gone. Hope you had such a uh, great time at the Brawl and Tweet Oxygen. It was a fantastic time, and I missed all of you guys, too. Even though I was having a good time, I was thinking about you guys, and I'm like, oh, man. Uh, it would be kind of fun to fire up a stream. I almost actually brought my, my stream set up and everything, but I'm happy I didn't because it was just there was just no way it would have been possible. Uh, but I did think about it. All right, let's see here. Uh, what do you think about my first Titan Crystal? Damn. Was it you that I just played in the arena? Terrible first pull. Only terrible because I don't want to fight this guy. This is a great first pull. I'd love to have Kindred myself, but... Oh my god, I don't want other people to have this champion. I do not want to fight this champ in, uh, in Battlegrounds or anything like that. Uh, dude, great pull though, man. Fantastic pull. Congrats on that. Seven star Kendrick. You're gonna have to find a way to get him awakened. Um, wouldn't be a bad one to pull back to back. Wouldn't be bad at all. Uh, Kurz with the 37 months. Kurz, thank you very much. Saying ABG, I saw bald caps at Spirit Halloween. Uh, those are inferior caps. I wouldn't recommend buying those. Uh, did you go mainstream or are uh, they imitators? I mean, it's just a competing product. That's all it is at the end of the day. Anyways, I missed you, baby girl. Lil Mama shakes them for me. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. However, I will say, uh, listen, if you wanted to get a bald cap, yeah, it's going to be cheaper, of course. But you pay for quality. You pay for what you get. And if you get a bald cap at Spirit of Halloween, uh, it might be as, a, as just like a fun little goof or something like that. But if you want the real deal... You want the highest quality cap that money can buy, and it's still not that expensive. We're priced very competitively. Then click the link in the description, enter offer code banana, save yourself 15%. You know what I mean? No need to pay extra. And uh, get get it, get a superior cap. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Kurz, thank you for 37 months, though, man. Uh, Royal with the five saying, ha, bald. Dude, oh, man. Royal. Um, hold on. Also, yeah, hearing the story from Pete. Uh, about Mike was gold. He's probably scared you were going to shave his head. There was... I I couldn't even imagine what Mike was thinking. But Royal, how... I don't even know what the right word is to describe. So, uh, it was getting like towards the end of the night. On the... Sa Saturday night, which is like the last night of... Um, the meetup and then like Sunday is essentially like... You know... Uh, everyone's checking out of their hotel or Airbnb and getting some food and like traveling home, right? And uh, it's getting towards the end of Saturday night 
and um didn't have much chance to to, to talk to royal over uh the meetup like i said so many people right uh impossible to talk to everybody at least that length and uh i was just saying like royal uh you like you're not you're not leaving are you because um that's what i thought was happening like everyone was kind of standing outside at this one point we're leaving the the, the one spot i guess and um uh no you know but what happened immediately after that is like we were looking for a different place to go to and we just had so many people that the group ended up being like split in half because <laughs> i was like oh yeah, yeah you know don't you know don't leave without saying bye star we never got to say bye either uh <laughs> I was like, don't, I was like, all right, good. Don't leave without saying bye. And, um, sure enough, like five minutes later, I don't even know if it was five minutes later or however, however long it was, the group immediately splits in two and, uh, we're like we're all just pulled in different directions. Uh, no one from the two groups got to say bye. I did see a few people at the, um, like the hotel lobby the next day. Um, but <laughs> that was it. And it was like, oh my goodness, I don't even, oh man. Uh, Mike made a call out to the group, uh, and all the ladies took off. Yeah, exactly. Um, we, no one really had any idea what was happening. Uh, we were all just, because like, essentially the two groups were led by, uh, Kabam Mike and, um, and Kabam John. And, uh, because I think they realized, like, there's no way we're going to find a place at this hour, because this was already... I think the place closed at midnight that we were leaving. Um, so, yeah, it's like maybe 12.15, 12.20, 12.30, something like that at this point. Uh, and they're like, we're not going to find a place that can seat all of us. So they kind of just split things, and yeah. <laughs> that's what happened. Oh, man. Uh, anyway. I was about to have to leave uh, so early on Saturday. Wait, yeah, Cap, hold on a sec. Were you at the? Were you at the that that like that one basement bar location at all? Fable, I think Pete said. I'm trying to think now. In person, you can't tell uh, it's uh, bald cap. It's shockingly good. Red dog, thank you, thank you so much for confirming it to all the people. Mm, I'll definitely throw you a few bucks for that. Uh, all right, can I can I print that on the website as an official uh, review? I want to go to the brawl next year if they do it again, Jim. I'd highly recommend it. Um, the thing, I mean, I understand it, it, it's. It's a it's a far trip for a lot of people. Um, if at all possible, like turn it into a like not just the Battle Realm Brawl. Turn it into let's check out Vancouver. Vancouver is an amazing city. Um, it because uh, that you know otherwise yeah it might be difficult of course depending where you're coming from to justify the cost of travel and stuff like that because the event it, it, it like comes and goes that fast dude it, it like the time it just time flies by um you get a chance to to talk to as many people as and like that's it man then the event's over and like everyone's going back home already so for a lot of people i totally understand like why you can't go um but if it is at all possible to go if you can justify it through some other means or or whatever um such a good time such a good time i can guarantee for like most people it's like the highlight of the year you know um well i left around 9 45 though had uh had an early train to catch uh yeah i was oh yeah that's right. okay uh me you and vega talk for a bit uh then with clown as well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay cap i just realized yeah, yeah 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 it just hit me dude as i was sitting here thinking if you were there yeah uh i do remember now okay all right all right <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, man. BG, did you visit the psych office? I didn't. Uh, if not, I don't know how great the trip could have been. I know. I know. I didn't get a chance to. No, Lobo, thank you for the 43 months. I know there's a couple of uh, super chats I'm still uh, catching up on here. I was just tangenting a little bit. Uh, but no, Lobo with the 43 months saying, yo, BG, nice to have you back. 
Uh, always love seeing these milestone uh, chats available. Best 43 months ever. By the way, Spider-Man 2 has pulled me away from MCOC hard. Dude, I bet, man. I bet that game is super fun. Um, they were kind of joking around at the event that, like, uh, a bunch of people were like, I'm, you know, I'm here instead of playing Spider-Man 2, and it's and it's really difficult to be here right now because I want to play Spider-Man 2. Um, but yeah, man, uh, enjoy that. Dude, thank you so much for the 43 freaking months. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Odin with the five saying, welcome back, BG. Tweet, tweet, please. Um, Odin, let's see here. Uh, 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 uh. My rank up since you've been away. Big changes to the account. Also duped Sunspot and Hulk. Nice. Pulled Hype and Mantis. Uh, okay. Ranked up Sunspot, Chavez. Dude, Spiny, I do. Man, those are some good rank ups. Those are some very strong rank ups. Speaking of, um, yeah, grats on all this. Speaking of duping Hulk, uh, grats on that. I like originally I didn't really want to um, necessarily pull Hulk uh, again, like to dupe him. But there was one match in the battlegrounds where um, Hulk was put on defense, and I I couldn't remember like who was doing the actual fighting, but Hulk was on defense. And, like, just stuck at 14 Furies. And, like, how annoying it was um, seeing, uh, like, trying to, to push uh, to that 15th Fury and, like, being unable to do so. Um, it, it makes me want to, like, get my Hulk duped. It really does. Because then you have to respect that 15th Fury, slow things down. I don't really use Hulk on defense that much, but there are a few times where I do. Um, so, yeah. Wouldn't mind duping the old Hulk. Even though I didn't care about her originally. Um, all right, Odin, thank you very much. Joey with the five saying, ABG, can I get a poll? Absolutely. Rank up seven star awakened gore to rank two or six star CGR to rank five. Sure. Let's do it. I have a... I have a feeling I know which way this is going to go, but this will be interesting. Let's see. Who to rank up? So, seven star... Um, seven star gore rank two. Uh, awakened. Yo, lags. Oh, we got the rough raid. Uh, Andy, thank you for the raid. Andrew, the rough raid in here. Um... Dude, I'm still kind of bummed. We didn't. We I wanted to, I wanted to set something up. I wanted to set a, a battlegrounds matchup. Maybe I won't even go into the details of it. Uh, but I wanted to commentate a certain match. Um, that maybe we'll do. Uh, but I wanted to do it live. Um, hold on. All right, who to rank up? Seven star Gore rank two awaken six star um, CGR rank. Okay, pulls live. Uh... But yeah, thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, that poll's live. We'll check back on that in just a sec here. Uh, Red Dog, thank you for the five saying, it was a far trip, but we made it uh, into a vacation with my fiance, and it was awesome. We fly back tomorrow, actually. Dude, I, I totally forgot. You're, I was going to say, you're probably still there, but yeah, you're still there. Um... Uh, we'll do it again in a heartbeat. Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Um, dude, why did I think I was playing Hulkbuster? And I was like, man, why did I just heavy with Hulkbuster here? <laughs> and to, uh, you know, I was applying shocks or something like that. And I'm like, why am I unstoppable? And then I finally looked at my character. I'm like, oh, I'm playing Jugs. Didn't even notice I was playing. <laughs> uh, yo, Andrew the Rough, man. Thank you for the raid, though. Appreciate it. Uh, it was great to meet you and everything. Um, lags, how you feeling? But, ooh, this poll is like 50-50. And who I thought was going to take it is actually losing right now. Not by much. And it's 53-47. Whew. That's a close one right there, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it. This is, this is virtually 50-50, though. It's, it ended 52%, 48%. 
uh, or technically 51%, you know, because YouTube steals that percent. But, um, um, I, so out of these two, I, I think I actually lean more towards CGR. Uh, even though I do lean a little bit more towards seven stars. Um, I don't know. It's, I think I would go CGR. That's kind of my gut. I don't have a ton of experience with gore. Uh, full disclosure on that one. But, uh, CGR, of course, totally insane. And there's times where he doesn't need that damage. But there's also times where, like, having the extra damage would be nice. Having the extra, you know, health would be nice. Um, situations where you can't necessarily get the most ideal rotations off. So you're not using your, like, highest damage rotations. So you're, you're kind of kind of need the additional rank to make up for that uh yeah i i i think that's what i would do i i don't know there will be four to five rank up gems so if you're using the same resources go gore that's also pretty fair if you want to just wait for like uh rank up gems to um you know maybe maybe go with um gore and then wait to get a rank up gem for cgr it's not it's not it's not a terrible way to uh to go about it um but yeah my 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 gut is is uh kind of saying cgr on this one if you don't need uh the additional rank if you don't think that you need the the additional rank on cgr at the moment um like let's say it's a it's a node friendly meta for the champ then yeah you could delay that rank up a bit too that might be okay but yeah if i had to pick one very interesting poll. Ended up being super close. Um, Odin, let me see here. Thank you for the two. But, oh, wait, actually, hold on. Odin, before I read yours. Oh, wait, yours is a poll? Okay, I'll set your poll up. And then uh, I wanted to talk to uh, my friend, my good buddy, Abby Doe, for a minute. Uh, but all right, Odin, let me see. I'll take a poll to six-star Cassie or six-star Titani to rank five. Both on Awaken now, but can Awaken and Max Sig. Uh, one or the other. Okay. Fairly certain this is going to be a landslide victory for a certain champ. Um, but let's do it. All right. Who to rank up? This is... Let's see. Cassie or Titania. All right. That poll is live. We'll circle back to that in a minute. So, um, I thought for sure I was going to get caught by a few people. There are a few people I was worried about. Uh, most people don't really see like the lower half of my body. Not that I try to hide it or anything like that. Not that I'm really showing it off either because I'm definitely very out of shape. But <laughs> it's not really like a, a hidden thing uh, by any means. Uh, it's just that, well, you guys see what you see, you know? So, I figured most people don't really know exactly how tall I am. <clears throat> Six foot eleven. Just kidding, five foot nine. Anyway, um, don't know kind of uh, how I stand or anything like that. Um, point being, I tried to... I, I was worried very much about Abdo here. Because he's one of the few people that, um, you know, I've hung out with a few times outside of comic-con and, and this event and stuff like that right so i even like get a different pair of shoes just for this guy otherwise because they're i ordered like so the, the cheapest pair of shoes i could find on amazon they're 19 bucks actually not that bad i want to get a second pair though the one i ordered is like all black i want to get a second pair all in white they're ugly as hell but they're kind of comfortable and i kind of want to like design uh just kind of like i've got some leftover paint Maybe I'll just paint them or something like that. I don't know. It could be kind of cool. Uh, anyway, I was worried about Abdo. Um, got a different pair of pants, different pair of shoes. And uh, went up to him and fooled him. <laughs> he didn't know. He did not know, you guys. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not even an insult towards Abdo or anything like that. It's just uh, it goes to show 
how sneaky the whole thing uh, how sneaky the whole thing was that I guess I couldn't be seen on the inside. I had I was supposed to be wearing a black mask on the inside, just like a very fine mesh, but I could not see at all. I could see all right through the mesh without the head on. But once I put the head on and I could only see through a very tiny opening, uh no, that was a no-go. Um, and I thought for sure I'm like, "Oh god, no, people are going to be able to see and I'm going to be busted, and it's not going to end up being that that cool. Um, but so many people had no clue. <laughs> uh, or that people trust things you say to be true. Oh, ooh, whoopsie. <laughs> this egotistical nutbag thinks I paid that much attention to his shoes and forgets that I'm usually drinking when we hang out. What a dingus. Oh, man. Well... I'll say uh, this is actually this is actually a compliment to you, Abdel. Um, this 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 was a compliment because it's not that I think that you were like studying my shoes or anything. It's just that I consider you to be an observant person. Um, you know, uh, you pick up on things, you notice things about people. Uh, whereas for other people like myself, I'm kind of just, you know, not really paying attention to much. Uh, and I have a terrible memory and everything, you know? So for, for like, I would have never noticed like, oh, it's not the same. I would have never noticed either, you know? But, um, I was thinking you might, uh, and then if you knew, then, uh, well, that's it. I'd be ruined, you know? <laughs> so, um, that's why I had to, to really try to hide it. Uh, he said, it's true. If he would have spoken, I obviously would have known, but he was good. <laughs> the devil's in the details. Exactly. Exactly. Um, okay. Uh, this poll, though. I ended the poll. Not as big of a landslide victory as I thought. So, Titania got 66% of it, of the vote. Uh, and Cassie, 33%. So a 2 to 1 in favor of... Um, 2 to 1 in favor of Titania. I figured she'd win. Cassie just doesn't do that well in the polls, honestly. I don't think Cassie is... I don't think Cassie is, is a bad champion by any means. It's just, you know... She's just not that popular of a champion. Oh my god, that uppercut was huge. Dude, I gotta... I gotta get this, this Hulkbuster in order. I gotta get him a striker. I gotta get him a... Oh, I tried to pop my special there. He got his off first. I think I still have some levels to give him. Maybe something like that. I don't know. I'm glad I didn't sign the head when you first walked over. <laughs> Star, me too, actually. That was really funny. <laughs> so I walked up to Star, who, um, you know, I've, I've met before. We've hung out before a, f a few times. And... Um, I was like, oh, good. Like, so I, since I can only see out of the mouth, which is kind of like down, I had to like look up to see. So hold on. Yeah, was that Janik in here too? Dude, I was so creepy to Janik. I felt so bad, actually. I, <laughs> I felt so bad. Janik was doing a, um, hold on, let me go big head mode for a sec here. Wow, I've never, that, that term has never been more literal, uh, than today. Um, so. I like Janik was doing like a um like there was like a station where there was like battlegrounds uh versus devs and uh you know so Janik's like doing his thing uh playing battlegrounds and stuff like that and I, like there's like a everyone's cuz on the in front of them there's like you know TVs that you can see the match happening on and stuff right um and I, I couldn't even see that by the way <laughs> um, but like I saw that he was playing so I'm like over his shoulder just like this just like looking down, <laughs> like imagine, imagine the, the the game here, uh, right here is is like Janik. I'm like right over his shoulder, like this, <laughs> probably breathing heavily in here, like, <gasps> you know, <laughs> and uh, and I was expecting him to like turn around and like laugh or something like that, and then I'm like, oh god, he doesn't think it's funny. I'm just creepy at this point. I gotta get out of here, man. You know. <laughs> So I just leave it. I'm like, oh man, dude, I gotta find him later on to apologize. <laughs> um, but uh, oh man, in hindsight, it's all funny, right? <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, so with Star, Star, so Star, I knew, 
and you know I when it's straight on my head I can only see downward right so every once in a while I kind of look up that way I can see like you know uh, look at actual people's faces and um, I spot beast. star and I'm like oh oh good star you know um, and uh, I go up to star with like my sharpie in hand hoping that uh, you know she'll sign my head and she's just like no like no no absolutely not you know because uh, she just thought I was some weirdo uh, dressed up in a giant head which, which is I mean that's what I was <laughs> um, so fair enough you know but uh, she didn't know she thought it was a different weirdo she didn't know it was it was, it was me being weird <laughs> so yeah oh man what a time I thought it was a random person being a weirdo dressed as BG which is very weird um, but yeah, I don't even know what to say, man. I, this whole idea was, was so silly and I'm so happy that, uh, that I did. There was, there were points. I sent a message to my buddy. I don't know, 48 hours before the event. I was like, dude, there's no way we're going to be able to pull this off. There's still so much work to be done. Um, I think we just have to like scrap it. Like this is, this is not. It's not happening. Like, there's, there's there's, no way. There's no possible way. And uh, my friend... So this is... For, for those that remember Finkeldink, um, he, uh, that was, that was like, one of my friends in on it. And, uh, dude, I needed... I needed to stop so bad because he was... he was, I just needed, like, these words. He was just like, listen, don't worry about it. We're, go we're going to make it happen, you know? <laughs> He's like, Br bring the supplies over. We're going to work all night. It's <laughs> oh, man. It's such a... Uh, such a scramble to do it all, but ah, I'm so glad he did, man. Masterful gambit, Chanik. Thank you very much. What a, I mean, yeah. I wish, I wish, I wish we could all be clapping right now. But uh, if you guys could give a round of applause to to Janik for killing it on the commentary, oh man, uh, all the commentators just crushed it. All right, hold on though. There was a few more super chats that I definitely did not read, so let me read these. Um, Odin, we did your poll. Thank you very much once again for the two. Oxygen, thank you for the two CHF saying another uh, another poll. Gore unduped or Silver Surfer 660. Oxygen, yeah, we could do that poll. Let's see. Uh, who to rank up? So, Gore unduped or Silver Surfer uh, 660. Okay, that poll is... Live. Oxygen, thank you for the two CHF. We'll circle back to that in just a sec. Uh, Dominique, thank you very much for the Euro. Um, where's your message at? Here we go. IBG, can I get a poll on who to use my four to five gem on? Fat Man, Nimrod, Warlock, or Omega Sentinel all awakened. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll come back to that in a sec once uh, once this current one is done. Which, whoa, it's looking like a landslide. So this is not going to take very long. Um, Jim Fast with the two saying, BG other poll, should I quit this game or not? Oh my goodness. Dude, it's poll city right now. Uh, we could do that poll too. <laughs> Jim, we could do that poll. Let's talk that one out a little bit first though. Um, I will say this. When it comes to if you're ever thinking about quitting this game, um, nothing wrong with stepping away. You know, if you're not enjoying things uh, currently or as much as you used to, nothing wrong with stepping away. The only thing I would say is um, if you do decide to, to kind of hang it up for right now, um, don't lose your account info. Like, write it down somewhere or something like that, you know? Um, don't get rid of your account because so many people have, have just came and went over the years and, like, and come back. And a lot of people have said, like, dude, I was so done with this game when I quit. And I just came back, and I'm loving it more than ever, you know. So, I would I would say that if you're at all thinking about it, follow your heart. If your if your heart's not in it right now, there's nothing wrong. Step away for a little bit. Just don't lose that info. Um, but we can still do that poll for you. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm just interested to see how it'll uh, play out. Uh, all right, I'm gonna end this current poll. It's uh, nearly a a, a three to one. Uh, in favor of Gore. We got uh, about 75% of the vote for Gore, 25% for Silver Surfer there. Uh, the Surf Boy, not getting a ton of love even when awakened. Look at that. 
Um, all right, Dominique, let me see. Your poll was up next, though. I should not have started this fight. Um, let me see. Let me see. Your poll. Who to rank up? Let me see. The options were... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got Fat Man in this poll. We got Nimrod in this poll. I have a feeling it might be one of those two that wins it, perhaps. We got Warlock as well. And then Omega Sentinel. All right. That poll is live. Let's see how it goes. Simon sent it over, Buck. Simon. What's up, dude? Thank you very much. Saying, well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Oh, shut up, Simon. Mr. PG himself, or should we say Mr. BS, you lying, perverted bastard. What the hell, man? Uh, well played, sir. Simon, thank you very much. Coming from the devil himself. That means a lot. Uh, Simon, thank you. Uh, dude, Jim, wait, Jim, sit over uh, another two. Jim, Jim Fast got two super chats here. Uh, maybe, maybe kind of attached to that first one, saying... Battlegrounds AI is putting me in therapy. Oh, man. Is that what's making you want to kind of hang things up at the moment, huh? The old Battlegrounds AI. Uh, by the way, I really like some of what Kabam did to try to to try to try curb some of the, some of the, um, some of the RNG. Some of the, you know, some of the, some of the, like they, they had aggressive AIs. Uh, in Battlegrounds, they had like, um, what are the nodes, dude? I'm trying to think. Uh, oh my goodness, where they will activate their specials more, special one and special two. Blanket on the name, probably still uh, fried from the weekend. I don't know, but um, God, who put torch in here like this? That's messed up. Um, they also. Uh, Bias, yes, Sanskrit. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Um, they got special one and special two bias. Uh, that was really cool. I think that helped. They also allowed people to re-roll three times, which I think was great. Uh, Cause like for ladder matches, I don't, I don't think you need three re-rolls. I think part of playing the ladder matches and like you know climbing, climbing the the, the matchmaking. Um, I think part of that is sort of dealing with the bad RNG that you get and just doing your best. Play the hand you're dealt. Good luck to you. Not every match you're going to win. And not every match, sh like, should be a win. Like, there should be times where, you, you know, um, you're, you're, you're facing someone that nine times out of ten they'll beat you, but maybe they don't get their best hand. Maybe you get a really good hand, and then you're able to, you know, kind of get that victory, and that feels really good. Um, so I think when it comes to matchmaking, one reroll, fine. I still wish it didn't cost a token, but uh, whatever. Uh, but for the tournament, I really like that they had three rerolls. I think that's huge. Because for a tournament, I think the best thing, like, from a player standpoint, you're trying to see who's the best. And yes, there's still going to be some RNG involved, but I think that keeps it interesting. That keeps it spicy. But you still want to have it mostly be like a skill and strategy based event. And then from an audience perspective, you want the matches to be as close as possible. You don't want there to be these, these matches where it's just like, dude, they pulled domino and I have no domino counters. Uh, or, you know, it's just things like that, right? So you, you want to give players uh, a little bit more of a chance um, to, to just just curb that, that, that RNG a little bit. So I really like that Kabam did that. Um, the tourney itself, man, oh, so good. Um, one event. What a freaking event right there. Okay, I'm going to end this poll. Fat Man wins it. 50% of the vote. Fat Man, dude, I think Fat Man's the most popular tech champ right now. I was really interested to see if uh, Fat Man was going to beat out Nimrod. Because Nimrod, I think, was the previous most popular tech champ. And I wasn't sure if they had kind of swapped places yet. Um... Or if they were ever going to swap places. And yeah. I think the power of Fat Man is, is really. Uh, proving itself here. 50% um, Fat Man. 35% Nimrod. 10% Warlock. 3% Omega Sentinel. There it is. Twitter for creeping on Janik pick. Oh. Let's see it. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my god. At this point, it wasn't even. Oh man. This was like creeping round two, I guess. Because I had stopped. I'm over here. I'm the one getting the, the head signed. Um, at this point, I'm like, dude, I, I don't, I don't want to creep on Janik anymore. Um, but my buddy, I guess, didn't realize. And uh, my buddy's now doing it over here. Oh, man. <laughs> so here's like the, you know, the screens they had for everybody. What you can't see is like off this way. There's like people lined up uh, to get, like get their chance to play. Actually, on this side is more of a crowd. It's more like uh, close to this side of things where like the uh, the line was. But, um, oh man. <laughs> Janik says, fully oblivious on my end. Holy. <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right. We're going to do the poll for Jim, though. Um, hold on. Actually, let me finish this fight. Uh, take a second. This is this is a special one just just for Jim here. Uh, let's see what the people think. Uh, should uh, Jim fast uh, quit? But I would put exactly where it quit this game or not. Uh, poll is live. Oh man, why am I nervous for Jim right now? What if what if Jim really doesn't want to quit the game and everyone's like, yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Beat it. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. People, vote no. Vote no, man. <laughs> leave if you want to leave, but don't 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 send the, don't send the man. Oh, please. Uh I'd say Nimrod is better at fulfilling the classic tech role. Now, I mean, so hold on a sec. I'm still not that not super familiar with um honestly with either of the champs, but with uh with Fat Man. Um, I tested him and everything. By the way, Aunt May was recently updated. Shout out to the one and only Duck Slug. But uh, where is... Where is Fat Man? He's not... Okay, I was going to say, I don't think he's classified as a robot. Um, it's still really nice to have a, uh, a, a robot. Maybe it's not as necessary for something like Battlegrounds. But, dude, I in certain events and everything like that, it's really nice to have a, uh, a robot... At your disposal, ready to go. Um, I think either one of those is great. I don't... If I had to pick one... It, it would be one of those two. It would be either Nimrod or Fant Man. And I honestly... Just don't have enough experience with, with either... To, to give a better perspective than the people in the chat. Um, I just know that I've seen both those champs do incredible things. So I would be... I would... I would I, even though I like Warlock... I would I wouldn't rank up Warlock over those two. Same thing for Omega Sentinel. I'd be going with Fat Man or um or Nimrod. Um so yeah. That's what I would do. Alright, I'm gonna end this poll. I can't believe you guys. 52% said yes. You monsters. 52% <laughs> of people said Jim should quit. 47 people said no. I'm voting no, but I'm also voting follow your heart. So there you go. Only do what you want to do. Which also goes for rank ups and all that stuff too. But. Um, all right, Red Dog with the two saying, "How about FinTech's Mojo gameplay?" Oh my goodness, dude! Can I also say this? I had a talk with um. I had I had a ooh, what the heck? Okay, never mind. I had a uh, I had a talk with both uh, fintech and, and Pepe at the the meetup afterwards. Um, they were the two in the finals, and um, dude, I, I I was so happy that Tigra was not banned. Uh, and I asked Pepe, I was like, "How come you didn't ban Tigra?" Because dude, they they had like a, a little bit of a Tigra off. Uh, it was a it was definitely a more favorable matchup for for Finn. Without a doubt, but uh, my God, Finn just so good. And everyone knows that that's what Finn, dude. So like my buddy who came with me, he knows nothing about MCOC, and I'm like trying to explain certain things to him, and I'm like, yeah, you know, and some people were, kind of, you know, known a little bit more for certain champs, and uh, you know, FinTech is is known for just amazing Tiger plays, so that's why that's why they keep banning, you know, Tiger against Finn. Um, 
And I'm just so happy that Tigra was not banned in the final because it just it, it makes it so much more entertaining uh, to know like there's this massive threat looming. And uh, so I was like, dude, I, 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 I said to Ben, I was like, I'm so happy you didn't ban Tigra, but I'm curious, like, you know, why didn't you, you know? And he was like, well, why would I? Like, we had we had a really good conversation, you know? He's like, but it was like, why would I? I'm just as good with Tiger, you know? I love that spirit of like, dude, I, I, I hope there's a round two. I hope there's, a, um, you know, it'd create like such a good storyline to see like next year. Uh, kind of thing. Ah, game crash. Um, and then how crazy would it be like if there was like another tiger off sort of sort of deal or something like that? You know, we saw some great black cat and mantis fights too. Yeah, so I didn't see the the mantis ones really. I don't think. I don't remember there being mantis fights. Was there mantis fights in the, the finals? Um, the I still haven't went back to watch. Um. Uh, like, like the day one stuff. But, um, yeah, man, I don't know. It was just so cool. Uh, and I was happy to hear, like, like, you know, Pepe wasn't mad that he lost or anything like that. He just wanted to put on a good show, you know, still in, like, really good spirits about the whole thing. And that's really what it's all about is just, like, I, I would I would be feeling the same way. Like, if I, if I was in the tourney, uh, I would just want it to be entertaining I would, I, you know, would try to win, of course, and everything. Uh, that would be the absolute best is, like, you put on a good show and you win. But uh, just just putting on a good show, having close matches and things like that, like, um, that's really all it's about. God, I'm, I'm going to play non-Howard the Duck style because I'm only playing with one hand right now, so I'm not ready to, <laughs> not ready to mash. Um, but, yeah, Red Dog, uh, that FinTech, uh, or the, the Mojo gameplay... I was impressed. I said to my buddy at that point, I didn't predict many of the matchups, you know? I was just trying to tell him, like, the basics and let him watch. And I was like, uh, you know, Mojo is, is more known for defense, can be used offensively, can be quite powerful offensively, like, uh, like underrated offensively. But this matchup, uh, I'd say maybe at a disadvantage or something like that. I can't even remember what the other um, fight was. But, uh, dude, Mojo won it. Fintech crushed it. Um. Uh, so cool to see. All right, Simon, thank you for the hundred yen. I swear, if this is a video, I enjoy seeing the range of counters in the matches that I never thought to use before. Yeah. Um. Maybe want a seven star Venom. So Venom was called out specifically by uh one of the devs, uh, who is on the live streams sometimes. Uh, it crashed is his uh kabam name um and he was like oh you didn't see day one dude there was some crazy fights some fights never thought you know would even work out i think he said it was venom versus kindred uh which yeah i and i think it like finished full yellow bar or something like that is that was is that what happened i think that's what was said why am i seeing five stars right now? i guess it doesn't even matter um <laughs> i Dude, I was going to do some Battlegrounds and stuff. I didn't even mean to play this much Arena. I just was talking. And it was just the easiest thing to do while talking. Uh, I mean, at this point, I guess screw it. Whatever. I just got to stop using five stars. My God. Uh, I think I, I I don't think I was using five stars. I think it was just the game crash. And then I started using them. But anyway. Um, I'm only playing with one hand. So I'm not ready to mash. Okay. You know what? Don't stop feeding lines to Simon. He might not have picked up on that. Damn it! The Venom is a Kindred fight was nuts. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta go back and see it. I gotta see that. Rank two Venom is disgusting. If, uh, if you can bleed the opponent, dude. Can I tell? This is also something. So I didn't realize this about the tourney. Um, I didn't know that there was gonna be limitations on like. Like the 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 like what you got to bring, what you got to include in your deck. I still don't know exactly what all the limitations. Give me some credit, BG. Of course I did. Damn it. Um, I still don't know what all the limitations are. But one of the things that 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 was like first talked about before the before like days two uh, of matches were were being played out 
they were like, oh, you know, players have been given, I don't know, another couple seven stars or something like that. Uh, and like 500 more sig stones, so something like that. And um, I also noticed that while they were fighting, not all the champs had strikers. So they must have been limited by relics as well. And dude, I love that. I love that so much. I think it'd be so cool. I, I, I know why Kabam probably wouldn't do this, but I would love it so much if there was like a, some sort of like, oh man, look at this. Look at this guy. Lags throwing down a friendly over here. Uh, I'll do a little friendly attitude. Uh, let me know what the notes are or whatever. Sure, let's do it. Um, I, it would be so cool if there was like, at the start of the season, you were a bit more limited and then you got to like build that up as the season went or something. It'd be difficult because it, on the one hand, like it'd be it'd be fun, but it'd also be kind of annoying uh, at times to have to do that. Like especially if you're just more of a casual player to it or something like that, you know, it would get annoying. So I know they wouldn't do it from that perspective, and then I also know they wouldn't do it from like the, you know, the the, the standpoint of like, of course, you're trying to like sell as many champs and relics as possible. If you can't actually equip them, then what's the point? You know, so I, I don't think they would ever actually do something like that. But damn, dude, that just seems like so much fun. Like I I, I would want to, oh God. I would want to play with that so much. It's so cool. Uh, wait, each day they, they got five, one to two generic uh, seven star rank ups and five six stones. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, okay, okay. What are the nodes even right now, man? Uh, I legit don't even know what the nodes are. I guess I took spot. <laughs> um, they also had every five-star uh, five star relic at max rank and every six-star relic at rank one and could rank two, six of them. Okay. Okay. Is that not enough? Is that not 30? Every five and six-star? Is that a 30? Um, all, right, all right, hold on, let me see here. Um, I'm taking the sunspot, sure. You can ignore the nodes? Okay, all right, I'll just pretend the nodes don't exist. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at this man thing that I'm about to go up against here. Oh, look at that, look at that gladiator. All right, let's grab Hulk. Let's grab Shuri, I guess. Do I want Shuri right now? Guys, I don't know that I want Shuri. <laughs> sure, why? All right, fine. Yeah, 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 sure, why not? Sure. Use Sunspot versus Man-Thing? Really? Sunspot versus Man-Thing? Is that actually good? What do you think of Cersei in this current meta? I mean, I, I was just saying, I don't know what this meta really is. Um, dude, the Jugs versus Sassy fight? Holy cow, man. That fight was nutty. Alright, I guess I'm going to grab these two. Lags, right, you're not running recoils right now, are you? No, I don't think he is. No reason to pick up that void. I don't really have much for uh, super strong defense here. Lags, we should have a match. I don't know if they still have Battlegrounds enabled on the, um, the beta. Uh, I kind of hope they leave Battlegrounds on the beta, though. Maybe we could have some some friendlies there, you know? Get a few more champs on uh, on my side. Uh, I'll start it out with Doom, I guess. I'm gonna throw down that, that man thing. Are you guys saying I shouldn't use Hulk here? Because I was kind of planning on using Hulk here. I'm gonna use Zulk here. Maybe this is bad for, for a reason I'm not quite familiar with. I haven't seen Man Thing that much outside of that like that one season. People kind of stopped using him after that. Actually, I mean people used him a bunch before then, but I didn't have the like, Hulk at the time or whatever. Alright, man thing. What you got for me, dude? Listen up, man thing. There's no reason to throw that special one, so don't waste your time doing that. 
Do I not take Dex? No! Come on, bud. Now, of course, I did Dex. I went in so late on that, I really thought I was going to get parried. Dang, dude. How come you don't want to throw your special up against the wall? I should really just be fighting him anyway. I should just unlock him. Wasting time. What am I doing, dude? I'm out of the... I'm out of the... I'm out of practice. Doing here Bane special with Hulk. What the heck is wrong with me? Uh oh, we still got it. Just barely. I could have I could have made that like 10 seconds faster. Oh, ho, ho. what's up, Lags? I'm gonna need one more victory. Oh. Alright. <laughs> How am I gonna get one more victory though? There's no way. Um hmm. I'm gonna have to try to use Screw you guys and your super CCC beta servers. I'm going home. I'm not even on this. Wait, I'm in my living room. Yeah, we're not even on this stupid, the, the, the CCB beta servers. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, let's go. We're going jugs. I was gonna see. I was gonna say uh, maybe we go Hulkling. Um, but uh, I'm going jugs. We're going jugs on this, and I'm gonna try to just play very aggressively, and we'll see how it goes. I guess I have to bait this probably. Come on. No, why did I do that? Oh, no, you guys. Why did I hit him there? Oh, my God. I really botched this, didn't I? I, how am I so bad with jugs? This champ is like pretty easy to play, <laughs> and yet, and yet I mess it up every time, dude. No! I got greedy on the hits. I could have popped the special two before going red. No. <laughs> Why'd you throw that, you jerk? Alright. Well, unless lags uh, just put down the controller, that's gonna be a gonna be a no-go. Jeez. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to pop Shuri on defense, and more than likely, I'm going to be using Sunspot on attack, unless he puts Fat Man down, then I'll, uh, I'll go with Hulkling, see how it goes. <laughs> 45 second glad fight. I'm kind of curious to... I, so, I knew Lags was going with Gladiator. Kind of curious to see more of that in action, though, you know? That was not going to hit. What am I doing? No. Come on, bud. Really? I don't have the spacing on that? I thought for sure I was good. At this point, like, okay, I'm dropping a special two. I didn't want to drop a special two. Uh, just a bad start to the fight, that's all. Wow! Dude, my timing is like uh, uh, a few milliseconds off on everything tonight right now. <laughs> Damn it, man. So screwed. Got myself into the worst spot. Alright, alright. Yeah, that's a wrap. It was gonna be over anyway. 
I can't believe that fight went that poorly. My God. I actually thought I had a chance here because I was like, this fight shouldn't be that bad. Um, I could probably do this fight fairly quickly. Um, I think I could have got that done in 56 seconds. I think I could have won that. I think I could have actually won that. Just uh, miss misstep on the uh, the heavy attack there, and then too delayed on uh, the next heavy attack, and things went south real quick. Soul Hunter, thank you very much for the BGN saying BG and uh, relapse and support. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going for the Paragon title. I'm on 7.2.4 now. Uh, does anyone have some tips uh, of something to look out for? Uh, I've had to use only one revive by now, but it was a technical issue. If you're that far and you only have to use one revive, you don't need advice. Uh, you're crushing it, man. Keep going. Um, when it comes to Act 7, I don't remember the quests, the individual quests that well. Uh, best advice I can, I can give you is to, you know, uh, use, um, the guides on uh, the, M the MCOC noob channel. Um, so many people have credited, um, those guides for helping them, you know, get through, but realistically, yeah, man, if you only have to use one revive and for a technical issue, you're going to be just fine. Just take things one, one quest at a time. If you do have to use some revives, no big deal. That's what they're there for. Uh, just get a few more and, and continue on. Um, you know, take things a little slow, get the 22 hour, uh, solo events, get the, um, uh, the apothecary, all that, but yeah, otherwise you're going to be, you're going to be doing just fine. Putting spot on defense was, is a waste. Dude, I didn't have that many defenders. Your spot rank four, uh, glad it was cooking. No, dude, spot is not rank four lags. Uh, Gladiator, I'm sure, uh, would have done fine against a rank four, but, buddy, I hate to tell you, this is, the reason why he was cooking that hard, it's just a rank three. <laughs> it's, a, it's a seven star versus a, versus a rank three here. So, uh, nah, it's just a rank three. Um, or wait, 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 hold on a sec. Was that, oh, no, 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 never mind, okay. Yeah, Soul Hunter, good luck to you and your push. Good luck. I'm just seeing you, okay? Thank you, PS. I have rank four Herc and Kitty. Well, there you go. And 18 revives. I hope to get it before the end of the Battleground season. I want that seven star guillotine. Oh, so wait, hold on. What's the deal with that? Oh, hold, 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 hold on just a sec. I know nothing about this old Deathless thing. I knew the Deathless champs were coming. Um, How do you... Someone have any quick... Uh, little recap of like how I get the pieces because I'd like to get Deathless Guillotine. That'd be nice. I wouldn't mind uh, collecting. You know. Uh, give me one sec here to. Okay. Uh, the Battleground Store. Okay, let me take a look. Um. I, dude, I still don't have the up, updated stores. Ah. Uh, is it... I heard there was like more than one version, I think, right? Don't buy the 30k one. Don't buy that in the battle. I was going to say, is there a 6 star and 7 star? Don't buy it. You get the 6 star with the 7 star. Don't buy it. Okay. Necro is going to have a piece. If you buy the seven star, you get six star with it. Okay. So, hold on. Uh, we were given one piece. I think I might have actually claimed that too. You guys know I, I wait and leave stuff in the overflow for ages. Oh my God. Uh, I'm going to have to use these. Um, but I think I actually claimed those because I was like, while I'm at the event, I, you know, not really playing. Uh, that's an interesting profile pick right there. Um, not really playing. I don't want things expiring. So I just went and claimed a bunch of stuff. And then I was like scrolling to see, scrolling through to see if there was any like really important stuff. Uh, and just in case. And uh, oh, it's a little anniversary. Um, and I think I claimed that already. I guess I can check in the inventory. Is that in the other? 
Aha, uh -huh. okay. So yeah, the six star and the seven star right here. The cursed handle. This is such a cool system, man. I'm so happy that they're doing something like this too. I, I was that's what I was like talking to um some of the devs about. I was like, you know, a lot of the stuff you guys are doing are really is, is really cool right now. Um there's of course there's of course my gripes with the game. I think we all know what those are. They're mostly mostly uh when it comes to the uh the monetary side of things, the uh, that whole feeling like it's uh, increased and stuff. But as far as like the actual gameplay goes and stuff like that, there's so many cool things that they're doing now that I had only wished that they had done in the past. You know, really cool stuff. This whole deathless thing. Um, I mean, battlegrounds in general is not it's not brand new, but it's still like relatively new to the game, and I think it's awesome. Uh, the relics, the rollout of the seven stars. Don't know about the necropolis yet, but I've heard good things. So like, killing it on that front. And yeah, this whole deathless thing. I want to. I definitely want to partake. Um, but hold on. Let me see. What was there? What was the rest of it? Uh, what message was I reading? Okay, given one piece. Piece two is at the end of the victory track. Piece three is at the necropolis. Okay, so I just have to get through. Uh, the victory track, it's not like, it's not tied to the points, is it? I thought it was, because actually I thought it was tied to the... If it's tied to this, I'll be a little bit sad, because I don't know that I'll be able to get that many points. Oh, these are just the Titan Shards, okay. Abyss Selector, okay, 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 okay. What was this one again? Six star nexus, okay. Victory track plus do one fight in the gladiator circuit, okay. Dude, I'm gonna claim some of these real quick. Three different ways to get the same thing. Complete victory track, make gladiator circuit, uh vibranium one. Hmm. Let me see here. Um, and like these rewards? Ah, yes. I see. Okay. So they're all called the same thing. It's just that you need five of them. It's not like the, the Deadpool event where you needed like a, a butt and the biceps and torso and all that stuff. Dude, this. Damn. That's a cool looking uh, sticker right there or whatever. Okay. Cool, though. Interesting. So, hold on. Do you get them for each of these? Or is this all... Oh, no, no, no. I see, I see, I see. So, it is just Vibranium 1. Okay. That, that screen still confuses me a little bit, man. <laughs> Stuff like that could be cleaned up a little bit more or something. I don't know. Uh... Tip, shaft, hilt, uh, etc. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I see. Got it. Okay, well, yeah. I'll have to um, stay on top of that. So, okay, so get Gladiator Circuit. I'll do that. No problem. Uh, the, 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 is it the third piece that's in the Necropolis? Or was that the fourth piece? Go for the shaft, BG. You know, if it was anyone besides Simon, I would have, <laughs> I would have said something. <laughs> but you know what? I don't. Whatever I'm about to say, that would definitely get used in a video. So, uh... third. Okay. Okay. So I'm not. I'm. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything so far. Okay. Got it. Uh, exploration or completion in Necrop, dude. So Necropolis. I'm so happy that it hasn't been, like, data mined yet, or at least publicly data mined. Who knows if there's, like, you know, someone out there keeping it a secret or, or, or something. But, um, dude, I actually am excited to see it unfold this time versus the Abyss when it was all data mined. It just, oh, God, it was so deflating. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely a bit more hyped for Necropolis than Abyss for that reason uh, alone. When should 8.4 come out? Um, I don't know. When did 8.2 come out relative to 8.3? I'm guessing maybe like five months is going to go by, something like that. Okay. Um, well, there's not there's not a ton left to do for tonight. I kind of just wanted to catch up with you guys. Uh, I grinded out some milestones in the arena. I lost to lags. I think I could have won that match. Ugh, I should have played better. Should have played better, Rusty. Um, but uh, I think I'm just going to spin out a crystal here and kind of call it a night. Are you finally going to use your four-hour crystals? I don't know. At this point, it's been so long since I've used them that uh, I'm not really entirely sure what I want to do with them. That was the plan to use them for the, the Abyss, though. Which, I mean, we didn't know what the Abyss was called at the time. It just the follow-up to Labyrinth. Um, but, yeah. Probably spring 2024 for 8.4. Uh... That sounds about right. I, I I would think around maybe March. Let's see some units. Did you have max glory? Yeah, I know. I'll have to pick up some stuff uh, tomorrow on stream before claiming more. I've done my first pass through 7.2.5. Now to do 7.2.6 tomorrow before it can touch 8.3. Okay. Sounds good, Star. You know about the Legends celebrating? Wait, what? You can view the Deathless Guillotine in the miscellaneous part of the store? Uh, like all of it? Hold on, hold on. Let me see this. Oh, wait. The miscellaneous? Well, let me look at the featured first real quick. Just kind of taking a look at some of this stuff. Okay. Um, miscellaneous. Whoops. Aha. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, I really like how there are, like, larger pictures like that, too. That's nice. Okay. Um... So, Deathless Guillotine profile pick. So, let's have both? It does. Okay. I see what you guys are saying now. Dude, it looks really cool. I would very much so like to get this character. Seven star guillotine. Deathless. Um, collect all five pieces. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, well, that seems awesome. So, BG, how was your weekend not in Vancouver? Because you totally weren't there, right? Here's the crazy thing, Chris. <laughs> Are you sitting down right now? <laughs> oh, man. No, it definitely wasn't me. None of the four <clears throat> were me at all. <laughs> oh, man. I played a new account for two to three weeks and reached plat two in Battlegrounds, and now I get paired against Paragon players while I'm just uncollected. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. It kind of has to. It sucks, but it kind of has to be that way because otherwise you would just be encouraged to never rank up your champs. Uh, wait, Star sent over another two saying re Legend Crystal and Web Store. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I did hear about that. Um, did I see that on stream yet? I don't know if I saw that on stream or if it was just something that I saw like on my way to the event or something like that. I saw someone talk about it. Um, but this, this store right here, um, here we go. Available weekly, you just get a legend... Uh, Legends Crystal. Legendary Crystal? Legends Crystal? I don't know what they're actually... Um, but yeah. Um, 
which of course is mostly here just to get you to to look at all the other offers and come back weekly and hey what's up check the store uh i think this is good though i think this is cool claim it dingus i gotta log in to claim it i'm not logged in um i'll log in later and, and do that probably something so i don't want to log in on stream right now though just open the five pieces this isn't paywall there's something stupid so i i don't think it will be i i i think it'll all be i think it'll all be available to get but then probably if you miss a piece um then there'll probably be ways to like pay to you know get the pieces that you missed or, or something like that um so yeah I don't think this is going to be locked behind a paywall. Because I, I, I think the devs were asked that or, or something. Uh, don't quote me on it, but I, I think that was kind of the, the gist of it. You can just log in with your Kabam account, just FYI. It definitely will not be paywall. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, the, the account that's used to log into the game. That's what you're saying, right? Like, this is the forums. But I don't want to... Um... You saw it on his last stream? Okay. I didn't want to log in right now. You said you didn't want to open the website to claim it. I, I still agree. I still am kind of saying that. <laughs> I don't really want to have to come here to, to, to claim the crystal. I think it's good that... Oh, yeah. It actually says it right here. I think it's good that they have this. But it's also kind of annoying. And uh, I don't know that I'll always claim it. <laughs> if I'm being, if I'm being totally honest. Yeah. So that's... that's, that's that's how it's going to be. PG is... Uh, I don't even know what that word is. Let me Google this. Let's learn a new word today, everybody. Bourgeois. Oh, that's how you spell that? Huh. Okay. Um... Of or characteristic of the middle class, typically with reference to its perceived materialistic values or conventional attitudes. You you're describing me as this? Okay. <laughs> I I don't know if that fits, but sure. Who am I to say? Right. I can't claim it because when I started my account, I didn't link it to a Kabam account. I think it's linked automatically now. Have you tried logging in? There's got to be a way that you can connect it to if if not. Come on, BG hides everything from us nowadays. He'll never log in online. Yeah, that'll be the one thing I show you guys. Here, here's all my passwords and stuff. Mm, we sat on that page doing nothing 10 times longer than it would have taken you to claim it. Yeah, right now. All right, anyway, I am going to... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and 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 get on out of here. Spell? You mean say? No, I meant spell. Uh, I was trying to read the word, and I didn't know that's how it was spelled. Um, Edie's password is one two three four five. By the way, guys, I played Majora's Mask just for a little bit with my buds. We like to, whenever we get together, we like to play just like old school games, and like work towards beating some old school game. And uh, if it's a short game, we can make it all the way through. Like one time we um, we played through uh, Super Mario World for Super Nintendo. And we're actually able to, you know, beat that because it didn't take that long. Uh, we tried playing Majora's Mask. Didn't come close to beating it. We beat like a dungeon, you know. Um, first time playing that game. And uh, the password... Was close to one, two, three, four, five, uh, to get to, to like the, the 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 bombers league or whatever it's called, is like one, three, two, four, five or something like that, and you just uh, tip me off to that. Okay. Anyway, um, completely random tangent for you all. I'm gonna head on out of here. Uh, before I go, she out out to. Imagine Jim for being tonight's biggest day. Jim, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone else. I will uh I will see you guys.
tomorrow, normal time. Um, maybe a little bit late. I, I don't know, man. I'll see you guys then, though. Have a good night, everybody.